All right, guys, I think we're where we're supposed to be. A plane just flew overhead, too. That was pretty cool. But here's the bridge Garrett was talking about. I don't see him. I thought... Okay, I might be lost. Whoa, wait. There he is. There he is. All right, let's go across this bridge. There's Garrett. He needs me to give him a ride. He has a bunch of tools in a rescue and recovery truck. All right, looks like it's a big tractor. Garrett, how's it going? Going good, but I'm in a very big predicament. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Oh, this is a big bud. Yeah, Chad didn't tell me too much about this. He's just told me to head your way. Yeah, so I started pulling this thing out. I was hoping with this rescue recovery specialty vehicle, it was able to get it, but this thing's not budging now. It's just yeah. too deep in the mud and everything's locked up. I needed something with more power, which means I need your help. Perfect. Yeah, this uh, this looks like we need like two tow trucks, dude. Let's go. I got, uh, jump in the truck with me and let's head back to the shop and get, get more trucks. Okay, sounds good. Thank you for picking me up, man. Yep, jump in. Here we go. All right, let's make sure I don't run over any. This corn looks good. Make sure I don't want to run over any. Here we go. Yeah, we're going to have to be very careful when we're doing this tow to not damage that. At least try not to. Yeah, it's not too tight, but yeah, it is kind of tight. Looks like it's kind of sinking in the mud more. But yeah, I'm thinking, Garrett, you're going to have one. I'll have another, and we'll just rip her out of there. All right, Garrett, I'm going to take Black Betty. What are you bringing? I think I'm going to grab one of the more heavy-duty vehicles, one of the older ones, probably the Kenworth or maybe even the Peterbilt. Yeah, bring the Kenworth and yeah, you have a pretty powerful winch on there. I'll take take old Black Betty here. I'll listen to her start up. Yes, sir. Here we go. She's whistling. Let's go, baby. Alright, I'm in the Kenworth. This thing should be able to get the job done. Alright, there we go, Gary. I didn't come this way. How much further do we have to go? We're not too, too far. We'll be making a right-hand turn in not too long. All right. It should just be down the road. That works. So I'm thinking you're going to attach. Let's just see if, if you if you can get it out. I mean, there's no need for me to hook up and get all my equipment out. And then I'll probably take her down the road to Bubba's Diesel Mechanic and Repair Shop. It's not too far from here. I think that's what the farmer said, right? Yeah, I believe so. Unfortunately, we can't take it to Chow because it's just too big of a piece of equipment, you know? Well, yeah, and Chad doesn't know how to work on that, so yeah, let's take it to this guy's diesel repairs. Straight, right, left? Which way? I believe you take a right-hand turn. Okay. This is kind of some tight truck and some technical stuff. We have some turns. Now we're in, like, I don't know, we were in the city, and then now we're in, like, camping homes, motor homes. Here we go. Oh, then yeah. we take the back roads, these dirt roads. Keep your speed up, Garrett. I'm trying to. These are some really hard roads to drive these trucks on, but they're handling pretty good, I think. Yeah, thank goodness it's dry. I, I, I wouldn't take her down, Black Betty down here if she was wet, so. Oh, yeah. No, I definitely would not try that one. <laughs> there we go. Here's the bridge. Okay, do you think we can go across the bridge? I think we can, but one at a time. Yeah, one at a time. Good thing they're kind of long so we can distribute the weight, but these are not light vehicles. Yeah, I'll let you go first. Let me know how it goes. I made it. I didn't see any cracks. Okay. Am I going to start going? Yep, you're good. Go ahead. All right. Hope I don't fall through. <laughs> yeah, I really, hope you don't really fall heavy. through either. Looks good, man. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised. Like, this bridge is well built. <laughs> yeah, well, that would have been pretty bad if we did fall through. But yeah, I can run the winch on our heavy rescue unit here. And then if you come hook up, I think we'll have the power to do it. Yep, definitely need both of these things going, but should be all good. Gotta watch this corn, you know? Yeah, be careful. We aren't gonna have the best angle to pull from, but I think we'll kind of walk her out here. Here we go, back her up. Looks good. All right. Everything's all good back there. Tell I'd me when to stop. I'd say you're good, man. You're good. I'd say drop supports. Yep. You can almost pull forward. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yep. Before they hit the ground. There we go. Yep, you're good. Perfect. All, all right. right. See, I got your winch here. I might have you do it. I haven't hooked up this one in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. One second. There we go. Get the line attached. Perfect. Let's see. Let's see what we could do. Yeah, I'll run this truck i know this winch isn't too powerful but we'll kind of see what we can do here all right Garrett, i'm ready i got my winch control right here i'm good to go you ready yeah i'm ready i'm just gonna get to the other side because i don't want these snapping and smacking me you know true 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 <laughs> we should probably put a blanket over just in case they do break and then do you want a fast winch or a slow winch? i'm gonna say let's try it first to slow winch because mm. i don't even know if we're gonna slide or what's gonna happen yeah it might Again, suck it into the mud more but good thing you have an angle because mine's kind of dragging on the ground yeah but i definitely wouldn't be able to take this out by myself not even with the 50 ton. All right, here we go, big cat. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Count down. Three, two, one. Winch, 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 winch. Here we go. All right, how's she looking? 
Uh, she's starting to inch a little bit, but my unit is sliding on the grass, dude. Oh, yeah? She's coming, though. If I can somehow... Okay, my unit's dragging. Yeah, mine's struggling, too. There's no way we won't be able to do this. All right, I'm going to get in my... I'm going to start reversing, dude. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait. I... It seems to be coming. Yeah, she's crawling up now. It was just... I had the parking brake on, everything. I just don't have supports like you do. Yeah, honestly, my supports are struggling, too. I'm here just monitoring it. There oh, we go. Geez. How's it looking? I'm pulling, baby. I'm spinning yep. tires. Light the fires. That's right. <laughs> here we go. All right, here. Take, take a break right now. Like, just stop. Yep. You want to release winch? Yeah, I'm thinking we're really tight with these cables, and okay. obviously we're not going to be able to lift this at all upwards you know what i'm gonna hold it here that way it doesn't slide in you release drive forward a bit because we're gonna need to keep pulling it okay yeah sounds good but i like where <laughs> i'm at and i'll make sure it doesn't slide in or if it does i'm going in with it yeah I'd try not to because that is very expensive <laughs> true true all right i'll tell you good man yeah this thing's just rolling there we go good right there drop the supports all right all you good right. yep all should right. be ready i'm hammering it in reverse okay here we go I'm going to get uh, get some steam here. Pull, pull, pull. Here we go. I'm getting some steam. Yep. There we are. Oh, yeah. She's going. There we go. Come but on, like big bud. See. She's coming out of there. She's coming out. Keep coming. Keep Let's get going. it as far as we can. Oh, a plane just flew over again. I'm kind of wow, hitting some corn, a, though. This is a busy area. It's okay. Yeah. They'd rather have this thing out. How's she looking? She looks good. I think, I think we're good to go, man. Yeah? Okay. So... Now we have the really tricky part. Do you think your tow truck's going to be able to pull this thing? Uh, we're going like, to see. We're gonna, it? Yeah, we're going to try out. It, it's, the Black Betty has a better chance than the 50 ton. So let's detach. We'll hook up. See if we can raise her up and drive her out. All right, man. Let's try it. Be very careful. All right, Garrett. It looks like we got the two straps on. I should probably just back up a little more and then see if we can raise her up and get her going. Yeah, but don't raise it too much because we don't want this brand new arm to snap off. That's true. That's true, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll kind of see. I have no idea. All right, let's raise up the back here. You know what? Let me lower it down, get a little better angle. There we go. Come on, raise up. You are moving it a bit. All right, Garrett, we're attached. I think this is as good as we can get it, man. Yeah, it's going to be difficult at first because obviously we're on a bit of a slant, but I think once we're out in flat land, we should be good to go. <laughs> now, the, the worry is, so the reason where they went, I'm pretty sure, the, the reason why the farmer, and it was a hired hand, tried to go across the waters because he was worried about going across the bridge because like he couldn't fit and then also the weight and they've had to went across but the water was just higher than what he remembered so when we haul this over the bridge are we gonna snap it oh i didn't even think of that there is a chance honestly like we're gonna have to be very careful maybe i'll go in front of you just to kind of monitor everything maybe you go underneath the bridge so once it starts to crack you can let me know <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> that one would hurt <laughs> that would hurt. All right, let's. I'm gonna try and head out of here. I might be popping wheelies on my way out, but she's hooked on. Maybe, maybe hang out in the big bud. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, you're thinking. Here, what if I drive this at least part of the way? True. And if we have to leave it, then. All right, so get be out of my way, man. I'm trying to keep my momentum up. Yep. Yeah. Yep. My front wheels are not on the ground right now. It's okay. That's why you have an extra set. <laughs> that's right. There you go. Popping wheel. I gotta go in reverse here, probably to turn around. I can try to turn that thing too, obviously. It True, you could be in it, and I'm sure the steering still works. Yeah, it should work. These things are built tough. All right, Garrett, there we go. Hopefully we can fit. Yep, I'm just moving this thing, trying to steer with you. It's going to be difficult, though. All right, backing up. The problem is the front tire. I need a little more weight up front here. Oh, yeah, you need a lot more weight. All right, guys, we're towing them across the bridge. It's actually going pretty good. There we go. We're getting some speed. So the bridge, I heard a few wood wood uh, planks kind of crack a little bit back there. There we go. We're towing them along. I had Garrett back there. He's trying to help steer a little bit. Uh, we are popping a wheelie right now, boys. As you can see, kind of feels like we're on a boat hitting waves, but... Garrett, everything good back there? Yep, everything's good. I'm just hoping you'll direct me because I can't see anything. So all we have to do is take it to Bubba's uh, diesel repair shop, and it's I can see it from here. So we just have to go past the, uh, the, the, the mobile homes there. All right, I'm slowing down trying to turn. And then we are going to have to go through kind of a tight section. I think we're going to be on pavement for a little bit. But other than that, Garrett, I think we have like half a mile to go. Yeah, I think just about that. Hopefully it's not too much further because... I don't know if your truck's going to make it, if so. Like, yeah, she's how, hauling hard. She's rolling coal, man. I was going to say, how fast are you burning through that diesel? Yeah, I. oh, she's bucking down here. Are you caught up on something? Uh, it seems to be okay. Okay, it seemed like maybe you're hitting the brakes on accident or something seized up there. There's always a chance. See, I don't even know to drive this thing. 
All right, we're scooting through. Watch the poles. See if you can steer out of here. Yep. There we go. All right, she looks good. Any, uh, any like little kids looking out the window right now is probably like, what in tarnation? Probably oh, never yeah. seen anything like this. Holy cow. They'd be so confused. But hey, we got to charge a lot of money for doing this job because there's a lot of risk that we had doing this. Yeah, yeah, we can. This truck is like a million dollars. So yeah, no, uh, we, we're going to charge quite a bit. And then, crap, where's the place again? Uh, oh, it's right here. It's right here on our right. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. I was like, How wait a second. We, get in we, there? we were going pretty fast. Um, what if you reverse? Good question. There is a mailbox that we are going to smoke right now. Uh, let's kind of position a little better. And there's a pole. Okay, watch, okay, watch, 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 watch the pole. Yep. There we go. Try and, you know what? We're gonna cut through that grass section right there if we can. You right, think? Crank okay. to the left. Here if we, we can go. miss that pole, I think we're good. Looks good so far. There we go. See, I just can't steer. And then I'm gonna literally just park you right there. Okay, that works. Drop me down, lower it a bit, and perfect. Detach. There we go. Lower it. Trying to lower you. There yep, we go. You're more. on the ground now. Okay, pull it forward and then raise that up. Perfect. There we go. All right. And before you go off, let me let me attach this thing back to your front end. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. That was a that was by far the heaviest we're probably ever gonna do. And I'm I I, I never want to do something that heavy again. Yeah. No. This thing was insane. But hey, we got it done. Most tow truck companies would just leave it alone and would say to call someone else but we don't give up yeah the the farmer called bubba so bubba does like a bunch of diesel repair tractor repair and yeah he, he does like towing and rescue as well but bubba has like an f-450 chassis cab with like you know just it can haul a car that's pretty much it yeah you know and so Definitely. it's a one ton pickup let's just say so well hey think about how much equipment we had to bring out like true nothing they're, single handedly would be able to do it yeah they're gonna get a big bill but nice work garrett chest bump oh yeah there, there we, we go. go all right guys hope you enjoyed today's episode if you did it was pretty crazy i would really appreciate it if you guys hit the like button and subscribe so i will see you guys in the next one peace out <laughs>